Water. Earth. Fire. Air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop them. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. A hundred years passed, and my brother Sokka and I discovered the new Avatar, an airbender named Aang. Although his airbending skills were great, he had a lot to learn before he was ready to save anyone. But from the day I first met him, I believed Aang would save the world. And you know what? I was right. With the help of his friends, Aang defeated Fire Lord Ozai and ended the Hundred Year War. Zuko, Ozai's son and our ally, became the new Fire Lord. Together with Earth King Kuei, Aang and Zuko promised to restore the Four Nations to harmony. I never realized the Fire Nation had built so many colonies in the Earth Kingdom. Yes. For the Earth people, they're a constant reminder of the war. Like an old scar. Oh, I, Fire Lord Zuko, I meant nothing personal. No, Earth King Kuei. You're right. After all the pain my father has caused, it's my duty to bring healing to the world. I'll remove those colonies. I'll do whatever it takes. But removing the colonies won't be easy. A lot of people's lives are going to be disrupted. We need someone to oversee everything to make sure it all goes peacefully. Someone like me! Really? You'd want to do that? I'm the Avatar. Making stuff go peacefully is kind of my thing. Wonderful! The Avatar's personal involvement will give the entire process an air of hope. Sokka and I can help. Ah, uh, I was going to visit Kiyoshi Island. It'll be a movement. A movement towards harmony. We'll call it... We'll call it... The Harmony Restoration Movement! Yes! The Harmony Restoration Movement! I like it. What's with you and your goofy names for everything? It's a gift. Earth King Quay planned a celebration where he would announce the Harmony Restoration Movement. Before the festivities began, we decided to visit the Jasmine Dragon, a tea shop owned by Zuko's Uncle Iroh. Hey, my belly's not that big anymore. I've really trimmed down. Well, I think you all look perfect. There, Ang and I, we figured out what we meant to each other. Or we were about to, anyway, before my stupid brother interrupted. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, nothing. We're not doing anything out here. Haven't you ever heard of knocking, Sokka? First of all, you're supposed to knock before you go inside, not before you go outside. And second, as my sister, you really shouldn't be kissing anyone in front of me. It's your sisterly duty to avoid giving me the oogies. Oogies? Oh, you are so immature sometimes. What about you and Suki? Suki is hey, a king. Suki's duties? not a friend. She's a Ooh, girlfriend. There's a big I, I like difference. To go around kissing all the women. Oh, like, come on. We did weird. that in you private. We got annoying. nothing to worry oh, about. Uh, I've been trying to show his her in front of you. I know how disgusting that would be. Time out. Yang. Why didn't you come out here to tell us? Oh, right. We're about to head out. But the Earth King celebration doesn't start for a couple more hours. I know. We wanted to take off out for a ride first. <laughs> Let's go again! Wait, guys! The fireworks are starting! Wow, the view is amazing! It is! Thanks, buddy! Sounds like the Earth King just announced the Harmony Restoration Movement! Hey, wanna know what fireworks are like for me? Close your eyes. Bam! Oh, Toph, don't be such a grump. You're out with friends on a beautiful night, celebrating the fact that we saved the world. True. You too, your new Majesty Fire Lord Zuko, sir. Turn that frown upside down! It's happy time! Mm. Zuko? 
I visited my father in prison the other day. I've been meaning to ask you for a favor, Aang. Sure. Anything. If you ever see me turning into my father, I want you to. I want you to end me. What? Even now, after everything that's happened, my family's legacy is still a part of me. That's why it's my duty to heal the scars that the Fire Nation has left on the world. But the Fire Lord's throne comes with a lot of pressures. And if I'm honest with myself, I need a safety net. The world needs a safety net. That's what I need you to be, Aang. The safety net. Zuko, you're not your dad. And you're my friend. How can you expect me- As your friend, I'm asking you, if you ever see me go bad, end me. Promise me, Aang. Fine. I promise. I promise. I promise. Someone's here! I could feel it! Someone's trying to assassinate me! Fire Lord, please! Go back to sleep. We're in the most secure tower in the entire palace. No one will get to you tonight, I assure you. Just like no one got to you last night, or the night before that, or the night before that. Do not mock me! There have already been five attempts on my life since I took the throne! And that's why we moved you here! Please, you have to trust! Show yourself! Down with the traitor! Down with the Fire Lord who betrays his own people! Convince me not to take your life. Go ahead. My family has been loyal to yours for generations. By getting rid of me, you would simply complete your betrayal. Your family? My father is the mayor of Yu Dao. Yu Dao, the first of the Fire Nation colonies. Yes, my home. And now you and the Avatar are going to destroy it with your precious Harmony Restoration Movement. Stop, stop. Corey! <laughs> Where have you been? Your mother and I were worried sick! Wait, who are these men? What are these chains? I went to go see someone about our problem, Father. Who? Him. <gasps> Fire Lord Zuko! You must be Mayor Morishita. Your daughter snuck into my home and tried to kill me. Cory? Someone had to do something. <laughs> my sincerest apologies for my daughter's rest behavior, Fire Lord. Have mercy! I should have this whole place burned down. Why bother? The Harmony Restoration Movement will accomplish the same thing without you having to lift a finger! Why can't you colonials get it through your thick skulls? The Harmony Restoration Movement is a means to peace! Peace? Peace for whom? With all due respect, your majesty, my family has lived on this land for generations. This city was built on our blood and sweat. We have as much a right to be here as anyone else. You're Fire Nation citizens. You should live in the Fire Nation. You're right, Fire Lord. We are Fire Nation citizens. And I'll tell you this. Your father would never have let the Avatar and the Earth King bully him into something so obviously bad for his own nation's citizens. My father? I should count myself lucky. The new Fire Lord has graced me with his presence in my lowly prison cell. You should count yourself lucky that the Avatar chose to spare you. Banishing me was the best thing you could have done for my life. Maybe your time in here can do the same for you. Hmm. Why are you really here? Because you're going to tell me something. 
Where is my mother? <laughs> you ought to bring me some tea, Zuko. We'll talk while sipping from steaming little cups. Much like you did with my traitorous brother. I'll give you advice on how to be a good Fire Lord. Wouldn't that be nice? Perhaps even the subject of your mother will come up. I don't need this. Do you think being Fire Lord is easy? The throne comes with many pressures, and those pressures will change you. But if you can stand the heat, you'll become something more. Of all the people in the world, I have the wisdom you need. The wisdom of experience. Be honest with yourself, Zuko. Do you really believe you can handle it all on your own? You'll be back, and I'll be here waiting for you, son. What the? I'm not my father! No, young man, you're not. Fire Lord Ozai had many faults, but he was never a coward. He was never a traitor. <laughs> Don't worry, Mayor Nishi. My team and I have helped dozens of Fire Nation colonies move back to your homeland already. They've all loved coming back. Those colonies were young. Their people had no roots in the Earth Kingdom. Things are different in the Fire Nation now, you'll see. Fire Lord Zuko's reintroducing classic Fire Nation culture to his people. You'll learn so much about your past by living here. And you'll have fun, too. <laughs> Check it out! This is a Fire Nation dance from over a hundred years ago! How fun is this? Stop! Stop unloading! Your colonials? Yes. Return to the Earth Kingdom by order of the Fire Lord! What? Fire Lord Zuko has officially withdrawn his support of the Harmony Restoration Movement. Come look! There's a crowd at the city gates below! Fire Nation! Harmony now! Fire Nation! Harmony now! I want to know what's happening! Whatever it is, it's bad. Bad! The city's probably doomed! We're probably doomed! I hate doom. No! How are you lily livers gonna learn metal bending by staring out a window? Get back to practice! Sifu Something's happening in Yudo! And I wanna know what! It's bad! So bad! I'm too young for doom! I hate being young. My parents live down there! Who's gonna buy me new shoes if anything happens to them? All our parents live in you, Dow! And they're all doomed! Huh. You lily livers are right. Something is happening in you, Dow. I can hear it. Appa! I'll be back soon! Stay put and do your forms, and if you don't, you're really going to get it when I come back! I want to go with you! I just don't want to be doomed! I hate you guys. <gasps> hey guys! Tough! Tough! I can't believe how long it's been! I miss you too. Hey, I heard you started a metal bending school! The Beifong Metal Bending Academy. You guys just flew over it. I heard Appa, so I had to come say hi. Wow, your own school. How's that going? Meh. I'm so glad you're here, Toph. A needs all the support he can get right now because of what he might have to. Hey, where is Twinkle Toes anyway? Oh, there he is. Zuko's changed his mind about the Harmony Restoration Movement. You're kidding. He's holed up in Yu Dao with a bunch of his soldiers. He won't let anyone in or out. 
That's where we're headed. So that's what's going on. The lily livers, I mean my students, were talking about it. Zuko's starting to act like his old man Ozai then. No, we don't know that yet. But Aang's meditating on what he might have to do. Because of the promise he made. You've done your duty. The war is over. And yet, the world is still not at peace. I'm sorry, Aang. You are still dealing with the consequences of my own indecisiveness. After Roku, I never should have made that promise to Zuko. I mean, I didn't even kill Ozai. And he was evil all the way through. How am I supposed to kill my own firebending teacher? My friend. What kind of person would I be? A person who keeps his promises. Zuko was in his clearest moment when he asked you for that promise. He knew what was at stake. All those lives that have been lost in the last hundred years. I could have saved them. I had so many chances. Sozin almost never had his guard up when he was with me. Wait, what are you saying? You regret not ending Fire Lord Sozin? Yes. But he was your friend! More than a friend. He was like a brother to me. But because of him, the world burned. When you are in a position of power, you must put the needs of the world above your own. Zuko, at one time at least, understood this. I'll go to you now and find Zuko. Then we'll sit down and talk. Remember the wisdom I offered you, Aang. You must be decisive. A promise is a promise. Because that's what friends do. We talk. Smelly Bee? Yeah! She's with the Freedom Fighters! She, you mean. She's with the Freedom Fighters. That's what I said! She's with the Freedom Fighters! Look, everybody! It's the Avatar! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Avatar A! Avatar A! Aang! We were hoping you would come. So what's the plan of attack? The Freedom Fighters are at your service. I appreciate your confidence, Smeller Bee. But I really just want to talk to Zuko. What? The time for talking was over as soon as the Fire Lord broke with the Harmony Restoration Movement. Besides, you're not getting into that city without a fight. Fire Nation troops are everywhere. We'll break open a new gate for you. Just give us the word. <laughs> that won't be necessary, Sneers. We'll find our way in. You ready, sweetie? I'm ready, sweetie. <sighs> Sweetie, seriously? I know, right? So oogie. <sighs> Flamey out, hot men. This city is under the protection of the Fire Lord himself. No one may enter without his express permission. Not even the Avatar. Leave now. Please, I'd like to talk to Fire Lord Zuko. That's all. You were warned. I don't want to fight. What are you dolts waiting for? Attack! Aang! Don't worry, sweetie. I can handle them. Just give me a sec. What'd you say? 
Your clothes! They're on... Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, thanks. That's it. Stop trying to set my boyfriend on fire. <laughs> wow. Aang, you okay? I'm fine. Can't you people give it a rest? He just wants to talk. Katara, stop! Let go, Zuko. You're hurting me. Don't make me hurt you back. I'm hurting you? What are you doing to my soldiers? My people? Let go of her, Zuko. She said you're hurting her. First, she has to agree to stop attacking my people. Your soldiers attacked first. Let her go, now. I am the Fire Lord. I have to protect the citizens of the Fire Nation. I came here to talk to you, Zuko, as a friend. But you've changed. You've forgotten what we fought for. Maybe Avatar Roku is right. Maybe a promise is a promise. Aang, stop! If you enter the Avatar state in such an emotional way, you won't be able to control yourself. You have to calm down. Please, sweetie, for me. I can't believe it. I might have done something terrible without even thinking it through. Zuko, I'm so... Katara's right. We both need to calm down and talk. Are you kidding me? That's what I wanted in the first place! Did you know that Yudao is the oldest of all the colonies? Hmm. Many of the Fire Nation families here immigrated over a hundred years ago. When Yu Dao was just a tiny village at the bottom of a valley. Together with the Earth Kingdom people who are already here, they built all this. Yu Dao makes the finest metalwork ever produced, using both Fire Nation and Earth Kingdom expertise. That's why this is one of the richest cities in the world. It doesn't seem like the Fire Nation citizens and the Earth Kingdom citizens share equally in that wealth. It's not perfect, Katara, but all the city's people, including the Earth Kingdom people, are better off now than they were a hundred years ago. The history lesson is great and all, but none of it matters. By betraying the Harmony Restoration Movement, you're going to start another war. Look, Aang. When I came here a week ago, I had planned to personally enforce the removal of Yu Dao from the Earth Kingdom. But then... Fire Lord Ozai had many faults, but he was never a coward. He was never a traitor. You'll regret saying that, old man! Guards, seize him! <laughs> Who? <laughs> Fire Lord, please, forgive my husband's foolishness. I've told him time and time again to control his tongue, but he never does. You're Mayor Morishita's wife? An earthbender? Yes, I'm an earthbender, as is our daughter. I may be an earthbender, but through my father's bloodline, I am a Fire Nation citizen! My father taught me to always be loyal to the Fire Nation, to my people. Something you obviously never learned from your father! Would your majesty be willing to stay in Yu Dao for a few days? It would be an honor for us to show the Fire Lord our way of life. So I stayed. I saw what my people created here. I saw what the Harmony Restoration Movement would destroy. I changed my mind. Ever since my coronation, I've had trouble finding peace. Now I think I finally figured out why. I'd forgotten about my people. I know you defeated the Fire Nation, Aang, but my people still deserve respect. I defeated the Fire Nation? You mean we defeated the Fire Lord? It'd be disrespectful to take from them a life they spent generations building. I won't let you do it! Harmony requires four separate nations to balance each other out. You can't have balance if one nation occupies another. 
Hmm. Maybe Hu Dao can be an exception. What? It's just a thought. Exceptions should be made for all the remaining colonies. Most of them have been around for well over a century. They're older than you, Aang. You have got to be joking. That would make peace impossible. Well, regardless, the Earth King needs to be a part of whatever happens next. If Aang and I can arrange a meeting, will you be there, Zuko? I'll be there. Talking's good, I guess. What's taking the Avatar so long? The Fire Lord's probably captured him. We have to go in and save the Avatar from those Ashmakers! Everybody, calm down! Avatar Aang can handle himself. Best thing for us to do right now is wait. Out of our way, you water tribe savage! <laughs> That's it! Don't you dunderheads know who I am? I am Toph Beifong, the greatest earthbender of all time! When my friend tells you to calm down, you calm down! <laughs> Next person to throw anything or say anything gets a boulder straight in the noggin. Got it? <laughs> now that's more like it. Good thing you listened to her, folks. I was about to bust out. Mr. Boomerang, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Boomerang! Oh, yeah. So scary! Yeah, is that a good idea? <sighs> so what happened? Did you have to... do it? Do what? You killed the Fire Lord? No, no. So what's going on then? What are we supposed to do now? Katara and I are gonna visit the Earth King to try and arrange a meeting. Can you please tell the protesters to go home? We need to figure out a solution, Smeller Bee. All this shouting won't help. The Earth Kingdom has waited over a hundred years to get rid of those ash makers. We'll give you three days, Avatar Aang. After that, the Freedom Fighters will figure out a solution of our own. Uh, I don't totally get why you two need to talk to the Earth King. Zuko knows he's wrong, doesn't he? The Fire Nation colonies have got to go. It's complicated, Toph. There are a lot of issues involved. Plus, talking's always good, right? Sweetie, when we were back there, Thank you for not letting me do something I'd regret. If you ever have to, you know, fulfill your promise, you can't let it happen like that. You have to be calm enough to know you're making the right decision. I just hate seeing you get like that, sweetie. Uh, Aang? Katara? You're giving me the oogies over here. Oh, I am so so sick of hearing about your stupid oogie, Sokka! I don't even know what that means! I can explain. Give me your hand. Mm. Oogie! So the Fire Lord has returned. Uh, May! The mob outside Utah is gone. For now, at least, the Fire Nation citizens are safe. You left without saying anything to me. I had to figure out where you were from official edicts your soldiers posted around the capital. You're doing it again, Zuko. If you're having problems, you're supposed to talk to me. I'm your girlfriend. You're... You're right. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. You've been having trouble sleeping. How? Have you looked in the mirror lately? Your bodyguards are a bunch of incompetent idiots. You're the Fire Lord now. You need real security. So, I asked some friends to come help. Do you hear anything? No, Zuko. It's been quiet all night. Honest to goodness, there hasn't been a peep. <sighs> 
I'm sorry. It's not that I don't trust you. I know the Kiyoshi warriors are the best guardsmen in the world. Guards women, you mean? Go back to sleep. You have to at least try. No. I'm going to get a drink of water. Do you need someone to escort you? I'll be fine. The walk will do me some good. Father. Hmm. 